Good morning. Uh, at least it's morning for me. This is the Plaid Pastor. I am currently parked outside of the YMCA in Rockbridge. And um, I am parked here because we are about to surprise my wife, Annie, with an award. Um, the Chamber of Commerce has a... Um, not a contest, but they have something, whatever you want to call it, but they have a time each year for a variety of awards, Humanitarian of the Year, Citizen of the Year, Business of the Year, um, and one of those is Educator of the Year. And Annie was nominated along with a couple of other people for that award, and I found out yesterday that she won, and so we are going to surprise her with that information today. The Chamber of Commerce... Uh, Elizabeth is supposed to be here soon, and others, I don't know who else is coming, but we're going to go in and surprise her. Annie is the child care director at the YMCA, um, so after school care and summer camp were her primary things, and then COVID hit, and she has spent the past seven months now, March to November, um, adapting, adjusting, um, just changing things almost daily to make child care available and not just child care but places where students can come and still do their school work now that we're in the fall so she navigated through the end of the school year when they they just all canceled school and then summertime there was no normal camp but she still made it a camp of some kind for kids and made it work and uh, then as school came back and they were virtual helped to set up different sites because they had different rules of how many kids they could have in a room, and so she's adjusted to that. Her world has changed almost every day for the last few months, um, like several others, and so she's one of those that's had to adjust to that, and a great deal of her effort in doing so has been to help kids with their education, uh, making sure they get the best possible opportunity to still learn and have school. So anyway, I am waiting on the other Chamber of Commerce folks, and then we're going to go inside, and we're going to surprise her. And I'm particularly excited because um, I think there's a number of reasons to celebrate Annie, um, but it's really cool to have it recognized by so many of her peers and others in the community. And I'm really excited for that to be acknowledged um, and uh, recognized. So anyway, I'll leave it at that. We're going to go in soon. Check back later. All right, who, who are you again? Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Yeah. And what do you have in your hands? Oh, the 2020 People's Choice Award Educator of the Year, Miss Annie LaPierre. Yes, we're going in. Here we go. And this is some other people. It's Elizabeth with balloons. Everything that you've done this year for our community it means a lot. You're welcome. People would not be able to survive without you, so thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Me, me included, I couldn't. <laughs> <have to survive. laughs> without her. <laughs> thank you so much for recognizing me for this award. It it truly means a lot. I still think I'm not an educator. I just put things together and keep them organized as best I can. But I really appreciate it and I appreciate all the opportunities I have um, to help with your great kids. <laughs>